Good afternoon. Welcome to BTHQ Banter. I believe week seven or on we or week eight. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check. We are on week seven. So I'm not at BTHQ today, it's Tuesday. And technically, BTHQ Banter is filmed at BTHQ. But if you've been watching for a little while, then you will know last week's BTHQ Banter was the shortest vlog in the history of BTHQ Banter because I have been in sunny Vegas. Well, not so sunny Vegas, actually, but we had a lot of fun. We got back yesterday afternoon, so today is Tuesday and I am spending the day at home with my beautiful crocheted backdrop filming videos for our new website. So I am working, I'm just not at the studio. So what I'm putting together are some pages, um, just some information pages about wanting to learn to sew, wanting to learn to crochet, um, offering some advice and guidance on what people might like to do um, and classes they might like to take. So I'm filming those here with my beautiful little backdrop and they're all gonna go up on our new website, which should be coming in the next couple of weeks fingers crossed. I'm back in the studio tomorrow um, on Wednesday and we're going to be doing a little bit of teaching um, but in the meantime I thought I'd share with you some of the really cool stuff that's been happening at BTHQ this week while I've been away. So on the, when did you last see me? Last saw me on the Friday didn't you? Yes and I popped into the studio on the Saturday. So you saw Maddie teaching her one day intensive sewing class last Saturday. And then that was it, wasn't it? Yes. So since then, she has taught another sewing class, um, week two of our three week beginners sewing class on the Tuesday evening and she did take over the vlog. So, hi everyone, I'm taking over BTHQ Banjo this week because Claire is skiving, she is in Las Vegas, having a jolly old time. Uh, we have week two of our beginner sewing course and we have three lovely ladies and our lovely Dexter in the corner working on their tote bags this week. Say so, hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Albeit quite brief. <laughs> but cheers for that Maddie. It's really lovely that you caught a little bit of action of your class and you got to see the lovely Dexter who we talked about a couple of episodes ago. So here they are with their finished bags. That was it for BTHQ during the week. It was quite a quiet week. We did just shut. But last Saturday we were open and we had a really busy day. We had a lovely, lovely knitting class and um, the Carol did the Carol she is special but Carol did a beginner's day so she taught people how to cast on knit the basic stitches cast off we had a lovely review come back from that so I'll pop that up here so it sounds like they all had a nice time we had the wonderful Julie from the flower shed florist she was in for the whole day and she ran two classes one in the morning and one in the afternoon of her supermarket flowers workshop which is fantastic basically um, people bring two or three bunches of just plain supermarket flowers in with them and then turn them into fantastic florist worthy bouquets that they can give as gifts and it's a really popular class so I'll pop a few little pictures up for you of that now. Then in the afternoon, Maddie was back in again and she taught our popular bags and boxes class. Um, and on that class, you can basically make the little boxes that we make in our three week beginners course, or you can do a little drawstring bag. Now, most people on this particular class wanted to make the bags. So as you can see, they're happily pulling their drawstrings in this little video, but we did have one lady who made a box too. So it was a super busy day on Saturday. I'm actually quite sad I missed it. But thank you to all the tutors um, for sending me little video clips and photos. It's really nice that they did that. Um, and obviously kept you entertained as well. So that's sped you up on the week so far. I'm going to go into the studio tomorrow and teach. So I'll film that for you. And then that will be it for BTHQ Banter week 7. And then we are completely back to normal. 
Good morning, it is Wednesday and I am back to work with a bang. Um, today's an interesting day. We have the lovely Viv in to make a dress that she's made before. She wants to make again. Um, and we also have Ray coming in and he is going to be learning to fix garments and also just the basics of using a sewing machine. So that should be a good one. We're also joined for the day by the lovely Elspeth, who's hiding in here at the moment. She's got no face on um, because she can't see to put it on because she's just had her cataracts done. So she's spending the day with us today just chilling out and apparently I'm on eye drop duty. So we'll see how that goes. Yes, yes she will do. Viv is busy making herself a black tunic. Sounds very exciting. <laughs> so one of the things Ray needs to learn to do is to put a gusset into trousers to allow for high kicks. <laughs> so we are playing around with this pair of trousers and we're sticking a leopard print gusset in. Elspeth has now finished doing the work she was supposed to be doing and she's now recuperating. She has, she's just She's having a Skype. She's now recuperating on the sofa with her knitting. A uh, crochet. God, look, I can't even tell the difference. <laughs> so if any of you want to know how to put a gusset into a pair of trousers, I will now happily show you because I know. But do we like our leopard print gusset? Fabulous. Well, that was an eventful morning. So Ray... Um, learned all the things he wanted to learn basically how to thread the sewing machine how to sew some basic seams make some repairs to jeans and trousers and sew his gusset into his trousers um, so i don't think i explained ray's a stylist and he works on a lot of shows and he's going on tour um with a dancing production in the next few weeks normally he has a seamstress with him who does any kind of repairs or anything but for whatever reason she's not going to be there this time so he wanted to make sure that he knew what to do in the case of an emergency um so that's what we were working on this morning Viv's now finished her tunic, I'll show it to you in a second, but I just need to nip out quickly to the haberdashery shop um, because I've got a bunting class this evening and I've got no bunting tape and I've just realised, so a quick nip to the shop and I'll be back. So if you're in our Facebook group and you hear me talking about you can get that at Jeff's, this is where I mean. Jeff's Remnant Shop. It's on the King's Road in Brentwood. He sells absolutely everything but a little bit limited. It's a really traditional, really kind of old school haberdashery shop but you can normally get your basics and kind of the stuff that you might be interested in picking up or stuff that you just need but obviously anything extra special or pretty you're going to want to go somewhere different. I've bought my favourite glittery jumpsuit in today. This is so comfy and it fits really nicely and I feel super glamorous in it. So I thought, because it is just simply a panel on the front and the same panel on the back and sleeves and basic trousers, it's so easy. I thought I'm gonna try and trace off my own pattern. Let's see how I get on. All done. And Elspeth has kindly gifted Viv some of her intellectual llama. So it now has intellectual llama pockets. Llama pockets. So we've got Ayla, Erin and Katie in this afternoon and they are all busy behind me sewing bunting um, so they're having a bunting basics class this afternoon Elspeth is supposed to be relaxing recuperating and resting but she can't resist helping out but I'm not going to complain <laughs> I should hope not no <laughs> <laughs> mm, mum's, mum's finished Ta-da! So Speedy Gonzalez <laughs> <laughs> It was dangerous. No, nice See how doing. It's splendid. Fabulous. Taking it nice and slow, nice and easy, Ayla. Well done. I'm like Speedy Gonzalez mum <laughs> might be here. <laughs> Excellent. 
And that's of a bunting parade, so give us a little wiggle of your bunting. Is it light enough? I've turned a lot of lights on. It's alright, I'm just doing a little video at the moment. Good. One for little BTHQ band to say hello YouTube! Hello YouTube! <laughs> hello YouTube! <laughs> Good morning, it is a Thursday. Now I don't normally come to you on a Thursday um, because it is my day off and it's actually the day that I normally edit BTHQ banter so that I can upload it ready for you to watch on a Friday morning. So a, a typical BTHQ week will run from Friday through to Wednesday with Thursday as a day off. However, today, see my laundry hanging in the background today I am working but only for a little bit I am going into my daughter's junior school to deliver my very first assembly in fact I'm doing two assemblies they've got me doing <laughs> key stage two and then key stage one so for my American viewers um, key stage one is like the the beginning of school so from age five to seven and then key stage two is age seven stroke eight up to ten so it's the two two stages of primary education here in the UK so I am doing an assembly the theme was parents who have jobs that help people so what they were looking for is the policemen the ambulance men the doctors nurses lawyers vets you know stereotypical jobs um, so obviously me being me went in with uh, <laughs> an email that said I have a job that helps people um, it helps people in lots of different ways but certainly um, in the mental health area um, it's incredibly helpful um, but also helpful in building confidence and making people feel good about themselves and uh, they said okay Mrs McInnes no problem in you come come and chat that was two months ago um, and I literally wrote my assembly yesterday. <laughs> Talk about lastminute.com. So obviously I'm not gonna be able to film that for you. Um, it's school, there's kids there that can't be filmed. Um, I am going to ask if I can record the audio um, and see if I can do something with that because it would be nice to be able to share it with you. So wish me luck, I'm on my way. I'm back, I survived. Um, I loved it, really, really, really good. Um, key stage two, so the older ones, it went down a little bit better. I did exactly the same assembly for both, um, but I think they have a better understanding of their emotions um, and mental health and how they feel, and that really helped me um, you know, pack a punch with my delivery. Key stage one, thoroughly enjoyed it, but I don't think they necessarily got quite as much out of it. Anyway, I was allowed to record the audio, so I did that for the key stage two assembly. Um, there are a couple of bits I need to edit out of it where we had some of the children talking um, and obviously for their privacy and safety I need to make sure that that's um, taken out. So I'm going to have to faff around with that so I'm not going to include it in today's video um, but it is something I want to, to utilise. And also it's a really good message so if any of you are looking at doing assemblies or anything like that or going into your children's school then you know I'd be more than happy if you wanted to pinch any of the content because it's incredibly useful um, so I'll do something with it um, and I will probably post it on my Facebook page um, or share it via Instagram so if you make sure you follow me on other social medias then I'll let you know about it. Um, and if I do get it uploaded somewhere, um, then I'll come back to this video at some point and pop it into the description. So if it's not there now, I haven't got around to doing it yet, so it's probably gonna be a little while before I can do that. But anyway, it is now 11 o'clock um, on Thursday. It is my day off, so I am now gonna close the camera, say goodbye to you. I will sit down this afternoon and get this edited and uploaded. Um, and by the time you see it on a Friday morning, I will be back recording for BTHQ banter week eight how are we at week eight already it's quite scary anyway thank you very much for watching as always if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so i am literally about five people away from hitting four and a half thousand subscribers and i am so chuffed with that um, it's so lovely i really enjoy talking to you all interacting with you all i try to reply to all the comments if i can um and I am incredibly grateful for your support and I know you will really enjoy these weekly vlogs. So please, big thumbs up, share, 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 share. If you know someone who you think would enjoy these videos, then please share them with them. Um, I really want to try and uh, 
spread the awareness of crafts and how crafts can make you happy this year. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.